Today we're going to be looking at proportional reasoning. We're going to be solving a problem that requires the expression of percents, fractions, and decimals in their equivalent forms. Before we begin this problem, I want you to think about how percents, fractions, and decimals are all related. What if I were to ask you to write 50% as a fraction and a decimal? Can you do that? Try it. In today's lesson, you will be learning how to do this. So let's look at the problem. There are 270 grade nine students at a high school and 80% of these students attend the spring dance. Half of the grade nine students who attend the dance buy their tickets at the door. How many grade nine students who attend the dance buy their tickets at the door? So let's start by underlining some information that we're told. Well, altogether, how many grade nine students are there at this high school? Good, there's 270 grade nine students altogether. What percentage of these students attended the spring dance? Well, it tells us that 80% of these students attend the dance. But then what else does it tell us about who attends the dance? We know that half of these students who attended the dance buy their tickets at the door. That means the other half probably bought them in advance. The question asks us to find how many grade nine students who attend the dance buy their tickets at the door. So where do we begin? So let's start by figuring out how many students actually did attend this dance. Well, altogether, there are 270 students at the school and 80% of these attend the dance. So we can say that 80% of all the students attended the dance. So 80% of 270 students attend this dance. But we need to figure out what that number is. How many students attended the dance? So we need to find 80% of 270. Now I'm going to show you one way of solving this, but of course there are many different ways that we could solve this problem. So how can we find the percent of an amount? Well, one way we can do this is by turning this percent into a decimal. How would you represent 80% as a decimal? Well, think about what percent means. Percent means out of 100. So if I have 80%, I have 80 out of 100. Do you remember how to turn a fraction into a decimal? We would take the number 80 and divide it by 100. 80 divided by 100 gives us 0 decimal 8 0. We're simply moving the decimal place two places to the left. So 80% is 0 decimal 8 0. Now we're going to use a calculator and we're going to multiply 0 decimal 8 0 times 270 since it's 80% of 270. Whenever you see the word of in math, we know that we need to multiply. So what's 0 decimal 8 0 multiplied by 270? We get an answer of 216. So what does that number tell us? That's right, 216 students attend the spring dance. But have we answered this question yet? Well, no, the question asks us how many grade nine students who attend the dance buy their tickets at the door. Well, 216 students attend the dance, but half of these students buy their tickets at the door. So now what do we have to do? That's right, now we need to figure out what's half of 216. So let's do that. Well, since we're using percent to solve this problem today, can you show a percentage that would represent half? Now remember, percent is out of 100. So now we need to think about what half of 100 might be. Well, think about it. What do you do when you cut something in half? If I have a pie and I cut it in half, how many pieces do I get? Cut it down the middle, I get one, two, or half. 
Now, if the total was 100 pieces and you got half of those, we're still going to cut it down the middle or divide it by 2. So let's take 100 and divide it by 2. What's 100 divided by 2 or half of 100? That's right, 50. So 50 out of 100 is equal to a half. So that means that half is 50%. So we know that 50% of the students who went to the dance bought their tickets at the door. Can we use the same strategy we just used to figure out what 50% of 216 is? Well, what's 50% as a decimal? 50 divided by 100 is equal to 0 decimal 50, and we're going to multiply that by 216. You can use your calculator. When you punch this in, we get an answer of 108. So 108 students bought their tickets at the door. Well, do you think that number makes sense? If there are 216 students total that attended the dance, is 108 half of 216? What's another that way that we could have checked this answer? Well, let's take 216 and divide it by 2, since we know that when we need to cut something in half, we divide it by 2. 216 divided by 2 gives us 108, just like we found earlier. Therefore, 108 grade 9 students who attend the dance buy their tickets at the door. Great work today. Remember, this was just one way of solving this problem. Check out our playlist to see different methods of solving this exact same question.